What is going on, everybody? We are back on it. Death Note episode 29, I think. So we have eight or so episodes left. It kind of almost feels like we have L and Light this time truly working together. Um, the past two like iterations of it that we've had, you know, Light was working with L to make sure he could sabotage the cure case in any way and to stay close to, you know, learn L's identity. There was always a, a motive. I'm sure Light has a motive now as well, but he truly seems kind of out of control. And it almost seems like him and the original L are working together with him in uh, Nier pretty much tracking down now um, Mello. So we'll see how it plays out. Um, everybody, I think his father and his sister are both safe. Uh, he did sort of, I mean, he seems to be pushing his limits recently with um, with Misa. And I think he's got to be careful with that because at any moment, maybe she might think, you know, Light, Light's doing too much. You know, th this is too much for him to take. Uh, the stress and what he's turned into, I think it would be, you know, he would he would be dead. He just can't ask me and, like, she would kill him or something like that, so... We'll see. Let me drag this over here. We're pressing play on the episode right now. Oh, make sure I got the subtitles on. What is this? Oh god, what do they have him out like in witness protection just like out in the woods somewhere? He just needs to stay out of it. He's gone through so much. Hunting down, having the heart attack, seeing his son get locked up thinking that, you know, it might be. Daughter gets kidnapped, him having to go travel to get her, it's just a lot. Oh! I forgot about this part. I forgot about this. This is awkward, <laughs> but they're not playing like ominous music. But he's going to just tag along until they find it, correct? His voice, God, it's annoying. Ugh. L successor. Yep. Hundred percent. All right, that was quick. Mm-hmm. All right, we got all the dots connected. Ooh, nice. Pretty accurate. Yep. Imagine if he had to fight against all three of them at the same time, like, elemental battle. God, could you imagine? Like, if the task force, um, if he had them under him, like, working, they were all working together. She could see it by pictures? Okay. That was easy enough. Okay, this went very quick. <laughs> that was quick. <gasps> 
They can't see him. They can't see him. They can't see him. Can they? Well, if he, they actually can't if it's his death note. Oh my god. How did he even know to go to that room? How did you know to like peek in on them? Everything's been so convenient this episode for everybody. Nobody can see him. Could you really just grab it and leave? Jesus. Touch it. This is just creepy as hell, and they can't kill him. <laughs> what the hell? <clears throat> he's going un he's going under again. He's going under again. Okay. Are they ever going to see each other again? It's making me nervous. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, he's all about that chocolate life. That's not true. He's going to tell him. He's going to tell him it's not true. Hmm. Yeah, you can still test that out. <sighs> this is the first time we're getting these, his inner monologue. <clears throat> Why would I follow what you have to say? Uh, Y'all tell me if I'm wrong. Can he not just grab his notebook and leave? Or does it have to be forfeited to then it'll be his? I don't know. <gasps> Ryuk's gonna follow him. Yo, there's a lot happening this episode. <laughs> Is 
So there's three notebooks in circulation. Mello has one, which was Sido's or whatever his name is. Uh, Rems and the one Rem brought from the god that died for Misa. Um, Light has Rems. Misa has the one from the god for her. And the one that was originally brought in and dropped in by Ryuk is in Melo's possession, which is why the Death God's following them. <clears throat> oh! They all see him. <laughs> like, everybody's just working together, like Shinigami and all. Oh my god. Ryuk, you're scary. Yo! I was about to say... His father can't keep this up. Oh my god. Light, this is your father, by the way. Light, this is your father. You want that for your father? Do you know what you've put him through? The Kira hunting it down, causing him stress to get into a heart attack, thinking it's you, getting locked up, his daughter getting kidnapped, the stress of the case. He really did that with his dad. It's his fucking father has the eyes. My god. Oh my god. And here we go. Showtime. Bodies are about to start dropping. Everybody but near. Everybody but near. So it'll be near the Shinigami, our squad, and Ryuk. Sido, he can't see Ryuk. Melo can't see Ryuk, so he doesn't think he thinks Sido's just sitting there playing grab ass. If y'all get there before they blast, frag out. Get the notebook, get the notebook, get the notebook, get the notebook. Mine. They could have gotten out right here. They could be walking into a death trap. They could be walking into a death trap. Don't do it. Don't do it. <gasps> I 
He can see his full name and everything, can he? Yep. Michael Q. <gasps> he got it. He got his ass. <laughs> oh my god. He's not you. His father's not going to live. His father's getting way too... Uh, I feel bad that he's going to die. He's really going to die here. <laughs> he's dead. His dad's dead. He walked his dad in there. You made him go up there. You made him go up there. Just write it, you old fuck. Write isn't it? Y'all better start spraying. And the other one? Y'all are gonna, like, apprehend him, right? I can't tell where his dad got shot. I mean, he is grazed and shit, but, like... Good shit, Light, you piece of shit. Now they're definitely his... I, I don't know. I don't know who's coming out of that alive and who's not. Matsuri, everybody was in that shit. <sighs> you have his name. You have his name. But... You want your your father isn't on the same. He's not hip, and I think he's dead. My God. You marched his old ass up those stairs. I can't tell if, the, if these are like crocodile tears or not. Give him the notebook! Give him the notebook! He's gonna say it? Oh, because he forfeited ownership. And he can die knowing Light was never Kira. He doesn't even care that he's about to die. He just wants him to write that name. He doesn't care. He's He doesn't care. He doesn't care. I was like, wow, in his dying breath, he's going to know that he's... He's dead. He probably had the most tragic story of anybody in the entire show. Ran his ass through the ringer and it was all hit Light's fault. <sighs> he 
he went through so fucking much too. I mean, the episode was titled "Father," but I thought maybe it'd be a reveal of like Mello and Nier's father or something like that. And Charles Xavier over here with his school for gifted children over here and shit. So there's only two in play now. Mises and Yeah. He never did use the death note, that's correct. So I don't think he'll be in like limbo or purgatory or anything like that. Um so that's good to know the man with <sighs> Jesus. Uh all that said, that has definitely been the best episode post L's death. There's just so much going on. And I've actually grown to like his father a lot. And again, I can't tell if he truly does feel sad about it. Even when he knew his father probably wasn't going to make it, he wanted that. He wanted him to kill him. Like maybe he could have used that final energy to, you know, just, you know, focus, take it to take a couple deep breaths and push through. No, nah, he wanted you to write this down. We did get his name out loud, though, so we know his name. Um, so if there's ever a chance you can get Mellow and Nier in the same room, a meetup, an exchange, etc., etc., there's that. Tell the name to Misa if she ever gets a chance, if she sees a criminal or a picture on TV, if they get any kind of photographs. Doesn't... Um, Near has a picture. It's an old picture, but it is a picture. If you could somehow get that in light or Mises' possession. But besides all that, I don't want to discuss too much other than, you know, Mr. Yagami. He went, like I said, I think he had the most tragic story of anybody in the whole show. Um, he was already a detective, so who knows what cases and stresses he had already gone through pre Kira. Then the Kira happens in his own area, and he's forced to lead it and deal with it. As all that's going on, it's actually his son that's running him, you know, around town, chasing, doing all this, whatever, whatever. Um, from the stresses of everything that his son is causing, the man has a heart attack, almost dies. Then we find out his son is the prime suspect. His son gets thrown in jail. He's got to deal with that stress after the heart attack. He says, I was about to kill myself. I don't know what I'll do. He throws himself in jail. He's got to deal with those stresses. Um... So just all that building, building, and boiling. You know, years pass, things calm down. His daughter gets kidnapped. He has to go on foot to another country and get her. Um, and then he ends up having to make an ideal, cutting his life, which who knows how much there was left anyway. And then, you know, this happens. I'm curious, like, how destiny is predetermined here. Because when Ryuk saw his lifespan and knew it was going to be cut in half... Was his death already predetermined there? Like, where he died here, was that the lifespan that Ryuk saw? Or did his destiny and lifespan change because he made the deal? If I'm scheduled to die this time tomorrow, and I make the, and I make the I deal right now, will I die in 12 hours instead of 24 hours from now? And Or will my destiny change? How does that... I don't know. Either way... R.I.P. to that man. I don't even think Light cares, really. I truly don't. So the only one he's really going to have fighting in his corner right now is going to be Misa, and I feel like he's pushing that to the brink. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I appreciate it, guys. Everybody should be seeing this on Saturday. Uh, and we will go from there. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, as always.